Welcome back to Combat Machines, Blueprints to Battlefield. I'm Hope, and today we're unlocking the engineering and combat story of one of World War II's most adaptable warships, the U.S. Navy Cruiser. Let's start at the drawing board. American cruisers came in two key designs. Light cruisers carried 12 rapid-firing 6-inch guns. Classes like Brooklyn and Cleveland were built for speed maneuverability, and throwing a whole lot of shells very quickly. Then you have the bruisers, heavy cruisers with eight-inch guns. New Orleans, Portland, and later the Baltimore class packed longer reach, heavier shells, and tougher protection, the engineering sweet spot between firepower and speed. Doctrinally, cruisers were the backbone of fleet operations. On paper, they screened aircraft carriers, led destroyer flotillas, hunted enemy raiders, and delivered precision shore bombardment. On the battlefield, they did all of that and more, often at the same time. How many did the U.S. actually build? 18 heavy cruisers and over 50 light cruisers. The Cleveland class alone became the mass production champion, practically a floating assembly line success story. And the defining combat moment? The Battle of Tassa Faranga in 1942. American heavy cruisers swept in confidently to intercept Japanese supply ships, but Japanese long lance torpedoes turned the engagement upside down. Four cruisers crippled, one lost. A brutal reminder that even the best engineering must face real battlefield physics. From blueprint ambitions to frontline realities, U.S. cruisers proved fast, powerful, and endlessly adaptable. Machines designed for versatility, tested in some of the toughest naval fights of the war. I'm Hope, and this has been Combat Machines, Blueprints to Battlefield. See you next time, where we break down the hardware that shaped history.